I'm uh, really honored to be uh, representing the family tonight. I'd like my uh, mom, my Aunt Mary, and my Uncle Fran to stand up and be recognized. <laughs> my grandfather would truly be humbled tonight uh, to be honored in the same forum as people he served so long and so well. From people like Chuck McCarthy in the press box to the coaches Monahan on the sidelines and good friends like George Scott and Harry Dudzinski on the field of play. Our mayor <laughs> referred to him as uh, Tony Potts. That was a nickname that my grandmother disliked, but a reference uh, nonetheless to his uh, very ample midsection. <laughs> he was a large man. He had a large appetite and a large heart. He wore large hats, large ties. He drove large cars. And if he were here tonight, he would extend a very large thank you to all the members of the selection committee. Some of you may wonder how a young Italian immigrant was uh, entrusted with the care of 60,000 patrons a year uh, when Muzzy Field was operating at its peak. And all he had to work with was an uncluttered desk in that office under the stands and a little rotary phone. There were no PCs back then, no big schedulers or anything to work with. But let me just review a few of his qualifications. Uh, Tom mentioned he was from Cesarunga in uh, Caserta, Italy. He was born a farmer, so he came here with a natural love for the soil. And he tended to Muzzy Field just as well as he'd nurtured our garden in the family uh, plot across the street. Uh, he loved food and be, to be around food, so who better to manage the concession stands at Muzzy Field and Rockwell Park? <laughs> Uh, he was a great recruiter and a teacher. It, as soon as any of us could see over the counter, he'd teach us to make change and uh, put us to work in the concession stands. And it's small wonder that uh, every one of his uh, children and grandchildren have gone on to uh, spend some portion of their career in the food business or in public service. He was a good manager. He had his grounds crew uh, at the ready every day. He'd greet them with a cheerful, uh, good afternoon, gentlemen before he'd ask him who broke the damn window, because he knew everything that went on in that park, and he took care of it as best he could. Uh, he was uh, generous with his advice. Coach Monahan, I'm sure, remembers some of the Monday morning phone calls when he asked about his ham and eggers that he put on the field, because no matter how good or how bad a team he fielded, there were always ham and eggers to Gramps. He, uh, he, wore, he carried a badge, and he was not afraid to uh, exercise his authority. Uh, the Honorable Mayor and uh, the rest of us who tried to sneak under the fence uh, often felt the tip of his boot, and he wasn't he wouldn't afraid to use it. <laughs> and he did all of this, you know, with a great, great sense of humor. And whether it was working with family or friends or business associates, he combined that good humor with his uh, limited but colorful vocabulary to accomplish his goals and make us all feel good, as we feel good tonight. So I want to say one more time on his behalf, Tanto grazie per tutti, amici. Thank you to all my friends.